Hi everyone, in this module, we will be discovering the revolve command, creating the sketch and revolving it. So going to launch new, under templates, going to English and selecting standard, left click to select and hit create. For this part, we have the option to create circles and extrude it to create three cylinders. But the best tool for this one is to create a sketch and then apply a revolve command. So to do that, first we need to create a sketch. I'm going to press letter L for a line. Now we are prompted to select a plane. I'm going to select our XZ plane. Left click to select. Line tool active. I'm going to sketch the half of the revolve feature. So I'm going to pan. I'm going to place our origin at the edge of this shaft so left click here I'm gonna key in a value of 3.75 and press enter double click my middle mouse line tool still active so left click just creating the profile no need to be exact and the final point here again double click my middle mouse to zoom extends so I'm gonna hit escape to disable the command I'm gonna add proportionality to the profile so I'm gonna select this line control right click and select horizontal Again, take note, I selected horizontal because of the orientation of our z-axis. So definitely to make this one vertical, we should apply horizontal. Moving forward, pressing letter D for dimension. Selecting this line and this edge. The value for this one is 1.5. Dimension tool is still active. Selecting this line and this line. Keying in 0.75. And now, if we take a closer look, our end point should be at our origin. So to do that, I'm going to go to Constrain, selecting Coincident, selecting this point in our origin. Double click my middle mouse to zoom extents. So we have three remaining entities to fully constrain. I'm going to press letter D, selecting this line and this line, panning. Now the diameter is 1.5, so I'm going to key in 1.5 divided by 2 to create the radius. So pressing enter. And finally, selecting this line and this line. Now the diameter of this circle is 2. So I'm going to key in a value of 1 and hit enter. So now this is fully constrained. I can now go to 3D model. Yes, I can perform finish sketch. But also we can go directly to this 3D model tab and hit revolve. So we are now prompted to select our profile. Zooming extents, 
selecting this profile for the axis I'm going to select this line or we have the option to select the x-axis so I'm just going to select our sketch line so the degrees of revolution is 360 so it's full and finally hit the check mark I'm going to press F6 for home view